Good morning, adventurers. Morning. We are at Tensmere uh, Forest and Nature Reserve today. It's kind of in the northern part of Fife, right? Yes. We're gonna do like a little walk through the woods. You can see the woods over here look absolutely amazing. So I think it's gonna be really cool. But as we pulled up, you guys, they're having some oh, kind yeah. of, it's like a sled dog race or oh something God, like that. Are they gonna do it on the sand? How do they do that exactly? But there are all sorts of cute dogs over there, little husky dogs. It sounds like when we were in Alaska and we saw the sled dogs, and they were all like, right before their race, they get so excited, they start essentially screaming because they just want to be running so badly. That's what it sounds like over there. Oh, They're man. so cute. There's like a hundred dogs over here. <laughs> this is awesome. the best day ever. Well, that was a cute little surprise <laughs> to run into. There's Those were some adorable so dogs, you guys. Dogs. We're just like, we're supposed to be hiking and scoping this place out, but we're just sitting there staring <laughs> at the dogs. But anyways, wow. this uh, reserve is right on the water. So we're gonna go scope out the water before we get into the woodlands. Yeah, it's very cool vibe out here. It's, you go through like the small towns and you see the, the farms and everything and the rolling hills. And then all of a sudden we were just in a forest and then you get through it and then you're at the ocean. So it's really cool. There's all sorts of mixtures of landscapes out here. I love places like this because it's so big that you feel like you can just be alone. You know, we walked into this field and there isn't a soul here. It's really nice. Very calm. You can hear the ocean just a little bit off in the distance. It's very peaceful. To give you guys an idea of how far out the tide is, that's the the water edge way over there. And then you have all this land and then there were pools over there. So I'm guessing the water goes all the way up to like that line right there. It's pretty impressive. When we were out yesterday, the tide was coming in at one point when we were getting done with our water sports and it was moving like feet every few minutes. It was crazy. Yeah, we kept having to move stuff because it can be a little intimidating. You underestimate how fast it actually comes yeah. in. <laughs> We tried to get a shot, we put the camera in the sand. Yeah. We went out to kayak and they were like, oh shoot, go, go back. We had to run up and save it. We're in the woods now. There isn't a soul around and it's kind of creepy. <laughs> all you hear is the branches creaking and the wind rushing through the trees no, and all the trees are kind of bare on the bottom. Yeah. It's creepy, but <laughs> also beautiful, right? <laughs> yes, creepily beautiful. Y'all, these woods are amazing. The beach was beautiful, but we've worked up a bit of an appetite and we're in luck because there is a little food truck back in the parking lot called the Crepe Shack, but it's the other way. So let's go this way. <laughs> nice job walking backwards though. He nailed it. Check it out, we learned that these seats here, are uh, the cushions are individually shaped for, for each one of these each stumps. Stump. Like they yeah. literally have the little like rivets and everything. Yeah, so they're numbered to correspond with the stump that they go to. That's this awesome. This place is so adorable. Yeah, look how charming it is. They have all these flowers set up and all these yeah. flowers at the table. It's very cool. Oh man. It seems so random because it's like you, you have this awesome little food shack over here and then just a campground. Very cool. Yeah. We got a bunch of crepes here. Yeah, look at this. So these are actually two crepes. They cut them in half for us so that we can each have half. But we did one savory. So this is chorizo, spinach, mozzarella, and I think that's it in there, and some chutney. And yeah. then and this one here is lemon, lemon cheesecake. cheesecake. So it's like lemon curd with condensed milk, and I think some um, crumbles of a biscuit in there. Oh my gosh, it's and they're nice good. and hot and huge and cheesy. I think I'm gonna try this savory crepe first. There's a chorizo in there, spinach, and cheese, and it's still a little bit warm. We always take time to get all these shots and then our food cools down, but luckily these are warm enough that they've stayed a little warm. Whoa, going <laughs> in from the side, <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm. mm, -mm, -mm. 
<laughs> it's good. <laughs> mm. It's got the delicious chorizo taste, but it's also got a little bit of sweetness from the chutney. Exactly what we needed after that hike. Now you gotta try the sweet one. And I guess I'll try your silly side technique just to make sure I get all the ingredients yeah, get at once. Right there. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can smell it from here. Ooh. It smells so good. Mm. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> wow. That that is uh, amazing. Ooh, it's super tangy from the lemon in there and really tart, but then the condensed milk is really sweet and with the biscuits, it's a little bit of a crunch and it adds some like cinnamon ginger to it. Whoa, this, I mean. We did a good, uh, a, it was a good idea to get the savory and the sweet. I yeah. think that's the way to do it. Oh man, I, I don't know. I wish I could eat this forever, but I would have the worst tummy ache. I hope I can get through it though. It's so good, but it's so rich. Oh my gosh. We have all sorts of adorable dogs roaming around this park and Allison keeps getting distracted. She's trying to film me and she's just kind of looking off at all the little puppies that are coming by. <laughs> it's so cute. Also, Eric tried to film me earlier and I was totally just like staring off. He's like, hey, are you gonna do it? Are you gonna try it? Oops, sorry. <laughs> Crepes were amazing. Highly oh. recommend checking out the Crepe Shack. You have to try the, in the lemon area. cheesecake. I'm gonna be dreaming yeah. about that one. Even if you're not gonna be hiking, just come here to try the crepes. The crepes <laughs> are amazing. But now we are heading to do some land yachting. Yes. Uh, we had never heard the term land, land yachting before, but apparently you sit in this little thing and the wind pulls you along like a little sailboat, kinda, except I'm on land. Very excited. I, it seems a little windy. We're not sure exactly like how much wind you need. So we'll, I guess we'll see in just a bit what yeah, it's like. <laughs> let's do it. We also learned that apparently what's happening here is like an annual husky meetup, I guess, right? Is <laughs> like that what they said? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so, so they, they all meet up and just, uh, Talk about how cute their dogs are, I guess. That's, ex or just <laughs> pet everyone else's dogs. That's my fantasy. So these are the guys we're gonna be riding on. Are you ready for this? You look ready. Uh, you I have one? no idea. Am I doing it right? <laughs> He's gonna get blown away. <laughs> I missed that. It was such oh, a yeah. good one. It says it on your helmet. Yeah. <laughs> this is me. Pull it in a little bit more. If it does one of these, that's a little bit more hard stopping style stuff. Okay. Okay. Don't let go. Beautiful. How does that feel? Not good. Not good. <laughs> Having fun? Oh yeah, I am sand now. This isn't a sweater anymore, it's just sand. <laughs> Let's give you a little boost. I'm gonna go real fast. Ah. Off you go. <laughs> well, that was a blast. Y'all. And the people who run it, they were all great fun. They were so <laughs> fun. This might be my new favorite sport. I think we're gonna invest in these when we get home. Yeah. And just ride them everywhere. <laughs> there wasn't like a ton of wind, but we were able to pick up some, and we kind of sucked at it, but that was, <laughs> yeah, we, we were able up. to pick up a little bit of speed and it was pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. once that thing got going, I was like, ah! They were <laughs> saying great. that you can get up to like 10 or 20 miles an hour on those. They said, yeah. maybe we maxed out at 12 today, maybe. Yeah. But um, I don't know, that was so cool, yeah. so unique. <clears throat> But we'll be linking to all their information, every every other thing that we're doing in the area as well in the description below so you guys can check them out if you do find yourself in the area. Absolutely. The vibe in here is absolutely excellent. It feels like we're in an old barn. They have like a dirt floors, which is great. Makes it feel so legit. We're thinking this is maybe the best calamari we've ever had. It is. It's so delicious. Seasoned. It yeah. is not chewy at all. The, the breading on it is so delicious and flavorful and crumbly. Mm -hmm. It's like fresh out of the fryer. Oh my gosh. 
god. And yeah. the sauce is so good, it's creamy and awesome. Our food has arrived. I kept it very simple with a sirloin steak on top of some chips and a little salad on the side. I've already tasted the chips and they are bomb. All the chips in this entire area have been delicious at all the different places. We've, we've gotten chips at three different places so far and they've all been good. Get a little cut of this. We got it medium rare. Looks about right. It looks really good. It looks like a uh, perfectly pink in the middle. And I, when was the last time we had steak? I feel like it's been forever. Oh my God, so long, yes, yeah. for sure. Medium rare was the way to go. When you bite into the steak, it just bursts with a bunch of delicious flavor. And sometimes when you get medium rare, it can be pretty chewy. The steak isn't chewy at all. It just kind of like disintegrates in your mouth. It's so good. I filled up a little too much on the calamari, sadly, but if I don't finish it, I'm taking it to go. There's no way you're keeping me from the steak. On the other hand, I got the lamb roast, which we were told you can't go wrong with lamb that's been roasted for a long time because all the flavor will be in there. Yeah, and it's I, like a slow roast, right? Yeah, it's like it a said. slow roasted lamb leg or something. And it came with this gravy, which I already dumped all over the top. Y'all, this is a huge hunk of meat. It's fresh as can be. I'm scared it's gonna burn me a bit. Oh yeah, I haven't tried this steak yet, but I imagine it's pretty similar in that it just like completely falls apart in your mouth. The meat is so freaking flavorful. It tastes like a really good mix between like a beef and a pork roast or something like that. It's like really fatty, but still really meaty and flavorful. We are going to destroy this and then probably immediately switch into some sweatpants because <laughs> this is a lot of food. Huge thank you to Visit Scotland for sending us out on such an amazing day. It's been absolutely delicious, so much fun. We'll be headed back to Bristol and then off to the States for a bit. And then we're not sure. Classic us. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out sometime. Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.